Hi, my name is Drew Worley. I'm the field trip coordinator at the Chicago Botanic Garden. I'm here at the Regenstein Learning Campus to tell you a little bit about how seeds travel. Our first and second graders that come visit on our field trips explore the different ways that seeds are dispersed by testing if they travel by wind, by water, by mechanical dispersion, meaning that they might fling themselves away, or if they travel by air. Now, I have some examples right here that I'd love to share with you. In front of me, I have the seed pod from a catulpa tree. You can see the seeds from this catulpa pod are small and have a pretty low profile, but really easily can blow away in the wind from the parent plant. Another way that seeds travel is by animal. Some seeds that have burrs on them or hooks that are attached to the seed help them travel by hooking on by the fur on an animal's coat or by the clothing of any hiker that might be out encountering this seed. So if you watch closely, look how these burrs stick to my clothing and they're not too mature so they actually come off pretty easily. But that's one way that these seeds disperse. Another way that seeds travel is by mechanical dispersion. Right here in front of me I have some jewelweed, also known as touch-me-nots. These plants have these beautiful orange flowers on them, but when they grow, mature, and develop seeds, their seed pod gets tight and small, and at the slight touch, explodes, flinging out three seeds across the ground. Wind dispersed plants don't have to look like dandelions and have light wing-like projections. Some wind dispersed plants will look like this that has small openings at the top that will dry out in the prairie and when large gusts of wind blow it'll shake and rattle the seeds right out until the wind is strong enough that these seeds just like these in my hand are dispersed all across the prairie. So next time that you encounter a seed out at the botanic garden make sure that you're looking for its structures to figure out how it's traveled whether it's the hook or its wing-like projections like on a dandelion seed those structures enable its function for dispersal.